All right, so the first thing I'm gonna point out is how fast USB 3.0 speeds are, especially when working with a solid state drive. Um, so I'm gonna grab this file, which is 1.6 gigs, drag it over to my desktop over here, and we'll see how fast it is. Done, so that was 1.6 gigs uh, from a raw file from the Pocket Cinema camera, dragged over to my computer system very very fast so USB 3 is definitely fast enough to edit with on many of the software applications now the reason I'm bringing that up is these MacBooks if you guys have any of the new MacBooks you can't upgrade the hard drive um, it is what it is and once you start installing applications here you're gonna run out of space pretty quick so I try to work with a lot of my projects with external drives um, and USB 3 is is pretty inexpensive solid-state drives are an even better option because it gets you faster speeds, uh, doesn't generate so much heat, um, uses less power on your battery, so uh, it's a good option to work with. The problem that I run into is when I'm using these external drives, if I have to move my laptop, sometimes I like working on my bed, uh, or if I'm at a coffee shop, I don't want to have all these cables kind of laying around. So I was thinking about mounting a drive onto my uh, my laptop. Sounds kind of funny, but I even thought about doing Velcro um, so that I can have my laptop kind of hanging off the back there, which is not ideal because I still use these drives in my cameras when I'm recording. Uh, I have a hard disk recorder like the Atomos Ninja that uses these drives. So I still want to be able to use these drives. I don't want to attach anything permanent on the drives, nor do I want to attach anything permanent on my laptop. So let me show you a solution that I came up with and uh, it's kind of corny, but it might work for you guys. All right, so here it is. Uh, first of all, this is the drive that I typically use. Um, I have about four of these uh, Seagate drives. Um, not, they're, they're fairly inexpensive, very lightweight, very slim. Um, and uh, this is not solid state, but these drives perform very, very well, very fast, had no issues with them. But what I like about these drives, not only being slim, is that they actually come with a SATA adapter. So you can actually attach this to a solid state drive um, like this SanDisk right here. So you just plug this in, it's self-powered, ready to go. So um, definitely look into these Seagate uh, slim drives. I'll have a link on this if you guys wanna know which one I'm getting. But uh, let me show you how I'm mounting it to my computer so that they're just not hanging out and it's not gonna disconnect if I move my laptop around. And like I said, sometimes I work in bed and as I move around and shift, I don't want this to kind of untether from my, my laptop. So what I'm using is actually these cheap dash mats. Now, I found these dash mats uh, online for like 99 cents each and I bought a bunch of them. And originally I was going to use them to place on my desk so that things don't fall off like my phones when I'm charging them. They don't just kind of slide off my desk. Um, but the problem was they were just way too sticky. So it was almost unusable because when you stick something on here, it was kind of, it, it took a little bit of effort to get it off. So it's not just an anti-skid pad, like a, a piece of rubber. It actually is very, very sticky. Um, now I have a cover on my MacBook. So I have one of those real thin, I think it's a spec or something like that. Uh, but there's a thin cover on here. Now this thing doesn't leave any residue, so you can apply it directly to your system if you need to. But let me show you how it works now. What I've done here is I've taken a bit of a, I, take, I took a Ziploc bag basically, tore off the sides and then just cut what I needed. So this is actually just a piece of a Velcro, I'm sorry, piece of a Ziploc bag. And that's how I keep it in, keep it from getting dirty. And you just stick the dash pad on the side here and stick your hard drive <laughs> it's actually pretty difficult to take this off. So now all I have to do is just run my USB cable to the side of my laptop here, and that's it. That's how I can work, and I don't have to worry about my, my drive coming off. So let me show you how I take this off, which is a little bit of effort, as you can see. And uh, let me just power this down, eject it. All right, so now that I have it ejected, uh, let me show you. I can actually work with an external solid state drive, which is great when you're doing projects. So I just stick that right on there and then basically plug that in. Uh, and that's it. So one of these 99 cents sticky dash mats will allow you to semi-permanently 
mount your hard drive here. Now, often what I do is if I have a hard drive mounted to my laptops, um, I could just kind of throw it in the bag just like this. My backpack will, you know, has a large enough slot to fit that in. Uh, I don't really have to worry about it. But if you want to be a little bit more careful, um, you know, again, you could just disconnect it. And when you're traveling, you just peel off this cheap, super sticky dash mat and put it back in my Ziploc bag here that I've cut up, fold it back in. Then I don't have to worry about it getting dirty and I can use it at a later date. So that is uh, kind of my workaround since I don't have a lot of hard drive space on these laptops to do big projects where I'm working with RAW. Um, I'll put a lot of that on an external drive and work on the project here. And uh, you know, it's a good way to just kind of put it on the laptop when you're moving around. So hopefully that was a, a tip that you guys can use. It is, again, kind of corny, um, but that's the whole point of the blog, I guess. More information, cheesycam.com.